What's up everybody, Grant here from Spectral Racing. So, finally made it to the firm. Did I achieve the goal, if you saw a few videos back, of making a 1 minute 17 second lap? The answer is no. But, on the flip side, uh, the car performed amazing. All the cooling mods we've been talking about in the last couple videos this summer, they all came together. The car ran great. I did run into one minor issue with uh, a bushing that I tried, a different design, and it ended up failing uh, at the autocross the next day, but uh, it didn't really impede on anything. <laughs> so if you haven't watched a few videos uh, over the summer on the lead up to this event, make sure to check those out. But as you can see here in the overlay, uh, while I talked to you about how it went, uh, the car did great. We did six 20 minute sessions at the firm. The firm's like a, you know, a little over a minute long track, uh, very heavy on brakes. It's, not a lot of time to cool down the car because it's just accelerate brake, accelerate brake. It's a good test. Now, the, it was about 76 degrees out, so it was a little bit on the cooler side. So the IATs definitely weren't a problem. But, you know, even if it's cool outside, the, it does take uh, a lot to cool down the car, you know, after every session. But the car would stay cool. Those hood vents really, really help, especially at speed. So I managed to do a 1 minute 21.1 seconds. Now, I think uh, towards the end of the day, I got some of the uh, more experienced people because I've never actually been out there with the 335 uh, tire setup. So last time I was out there, I think was with the Mustang. At least I've been out there a lot with our Volkswagen GTI. You know, was with the, um, when I think when I broke the wing, <laughs> like three or four years ago. So it's been a while in the Mustang. You know, I've autocrossed there a lot, but not on, you know, the full speed track day. So, well, especially in the dry. I think I did do one track day in preparation for Optima, but it did rain. Anyway, so you can see the cool attempts never got above 208, and that was, uh, that was the last session of the day, so the motor was nice and warm from doing about 30 plus laps by the end of the day. And like I was saying, I had a few of the people towards the end of the day uh, follow me, give me some tips, uh, especially with the Mustang it being very different than the Volkswagen. I was, with the Volkswagen, I'm, I'm able to get within, you know, uh, less than a second of a more experienced person's time, the Volkswagen. But in the Mustang, uh, it's a lot faster and it's a bit more difficult. You have to be a bit more brave with it. I can tell really, you can. You can pretty, pretty much anyone can tell the braking zones, I'm probably braking a little bit too early. There are a few places here and there that could be faster, so definitely we'll go back. Uh, the other thing is probably the gearing on the car is hurting me, being, you know, the, the five speed, very short gearing. But nothing I can really do about that, uh, honestly. You know, it, it still is a 12 year old car <laughs> that uh, is built by me, which so isn't saying much. Now, I did buy track insurance for this uh, setup since I was trying to, you know, do a 10 10 slap. Uh, didn't, you know, obviously didn't need it. it if anyone's wondering about the cost, uh, I covered the car for $45,000. It cost 260 bucks, I believe. So, with a went with the 15% deductible, so it was just a little high, but I'm uh, pretty familiar with this course and I was really only worried about uh, the turn against the wall and then turn 10 if like my uh, master cylinder failed or something and you know smash it into that wall <laughs> that would not be good so but I did manage to redeem myself the next day at autocross I did trophy uh, at the firm uh, place first place out of uh, four people uh, but I, one of the people I compete against uh, was in a much much lighter 240 that usually beats me so uh, Making some progress there, I suppose. So what's up next for the Mustang? Well, uh, I definitely will be going back to the firm, try and improve upon that time, see if I can get down into the teens. And uh, going into uh, winter break and stuff, gonna be doing more drift events and possibly building uh, some more drift setup for the Mustang. Uh, I've been looking at possibly building in, uh, a separate axle for drift and drag racing. And then, you know, come May time frame, switch over to that axle. Uh, since it would take about a day to switch switch over and drag racing and drifting are at night. So, you know, Florida racing from May to about October is pretty miserable. 
Uh, so it would be nice to do night events in the summertime. So, you know, get a Detroit locker, put the, um, actually both axles could have the drift set up, but um, primarily would just put it on the, the drag and drift axle, which would just be probably a 410 a rear end and a Detroit locker. That'd be good to go. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.